Today we are playing a mono black rats deck in standard with only four rares. Let's jump in and check it out. So first, let's take a look at those four rares. So we have four copies of Karamonix the Rat King, three mana for a 3-3 with Toxic 1. Other rats you control have Toxic 1, so we're just going to jam as many rats into this deck as possible. It also, when it enters the battlefield, you get to look at the top five cards of your library, reveal any number of rat cards from among them, and put them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So a lot of times this is a three mana three three that draws one or two cards just a really solid creature when it's built around well we're playing gnawing vermin a one mana one one when it enters the battlefield target player mills two cards and when it dies target creature you don't control gets minus one minus one until end of turn we're playing four Okiba Reckoner Raid, one black for a saga. Each opponent loses a life and you gain a life in stages one and two. And then it flips into a 2-2 Menace. We're playing four copies of Anoint with Affliction. In this deck, most of the time, it's two mana to exile any creature. We have four copies of Blightbelly Rat. It's a two mana 2-2 two -two with Toxic 1. When it dies, proliferate. And when Karamonix is in play, this will be a Toxic 2 because Toxic does in fact stack. We have four copies of Drown and Icker. Two mana sorcery, target creature gets minus four, minus four until end of turn, and then proliferate. So we get to proliferate our poison counters and remove something. We have four chittering skitterling, three mana one, four rat. When our opponent is corrupted, meaning they have three or more poison counters, we can sack an artifact or creature to draw a card. We can only do that once each turn. We're super happy to sacrifice these gnawing vermin, ping off an X1 from our opponent and draw a card. We have two copies of Infectious Inquiry. We draw two cards, lose two life. Each opponent gets a poison counter. Two copies of Veraska's Fall. Each opponent sacks a creature or planeswalker and gets a poison counter. We talked about Karamonix. And lastly, we have four copies of Mukatai Ambusher. Four mana, three, two with Ninjutsu and Lifelink. One of our best targets for Ninjutsu is the Okiba Reckoner Raid. So it has Menace, so this card is able to get in a lot. When we bring it back to our hand, we get to recast it and get all of those Saga triggers again. And super simple mana base here. We're just playing 24 basic swamps so that's the deck let's go ahead and jump into game number one this looks good enough we'll keep this we'll start on reckoner raid and then hopefully draw into some action And just play another one. Nothing else to do here. Our opponent is on blue-black proliferate. Okay. Unfortunately, we have a little bit of a slow start here. Since our opponent's not playing creatures, these Drown and Ickers are kind of dead. But we'll have a decent turn next turn. We can attack with the Road Captain. Okay, they are killing it. Alright, so here we're just going to play this out. We'll use our mana. Deciding to kill something. Exiles our creature. Another inquiry. So they are losing quite a bit of life here. We just play a million Reckoner Raids. So let's attack. See if we can't get some damage in here. Down to nine. Down to eight. If these resolve. Death by Reckoner Raid, we'll see. <laughs> Not exactly how the deck is supposed to work, but we'll see how it plays out. Alright, so they get to counter that. And we'll pass the turn. We'd love for them to just play a creature. Got two dead cards here. Play like a Voidwing hybrid or something. There you go. Excellent. Okay. So here we're just gonna play... Hmm. I think Drown and Icker is a little bit better. Since we get to proliferate and flip this a turn faster. So that way we can attack with it next turn. 
Okay, so we'll pass. And hopefully, again, I would love for them to spend their turn just playing a creature. Distorted Curiosity, draw two. Or even like a Varaska wouldn't be bad. Okay, they are looking for proliferate triggers, I guess. Tapping those underground rivers is going to be a little bit dangerous as well. So here, I'm going to go ahead and use this card. And hit them for two more, hopefully. Down to four. I don't believe their deck plays discard. Is there a reason to play this? Let's just hold it. I don't think they're playing discard, but you never know. So here they're going to take another point of damage. So that's good. Down to three. Not how I was expecting this game to play. Again, we're still pretty close to death here. So they only need three more poison counters. But we only have to deal them three more damage, so we'll see. All right, so there's eight. All right. So if this ambusher gets in, we just win. They might have proliferate stuff. Maybe a removal spell here. Hey, okay, unblocked. Let's see. Can't counter it, because it's ninjutsu. Are we good? Come on, pass. Pass. Damn. Okay, this is probably it. But let's do this. So we play this. And then we're gonna destroy this thing so they can't get us in the air. Opponent down to one. Let's go! What a game! That was a close one. I did not think we were gonna win that. This looks solid. We'll keep this. We'll start on gnawing vermin. Mill ourselves. And... We'll see what they play. Okay, so here I am gonna attack into that. I would be happy to trade or ninjutsu and get the beatdown started. Next turn we'll play the Karamonics. Let's see what our opponent's playing. Looks like red green oil. So the Flame Stoker lets them discard their hand and draw four cards. It gets cheaper with more oil counters. So this is a great way for them to refill their hand. If they tap out here, we might just kill that thing. Let's see, can they sack this? No, so we get in for another hit here. So we're just gonna go ahead and play the Karamonics. We'll draw some cards, excellent, and then hit them for three more, plus a poison counter. This deck is interesting because it can kill either way, damage or poison, it really just depends on the game. Nice aggressive start, scared him away, I guess. This looks good. Let's start with Reckoner Raid, since we have the Muktai Ambusher. And Gnawing Vermin. Again, mill ourselves just to be safe. Lanoir Loam Speaker. So here, we're just going to Veraska's Fall. Get that first poison counter on them. And then hit them for one. Next turn, if they just play a creature, we have a pretty good turn. We get to Drown and Icker plus Mukatai Ambusher. So Gala Greeters. 
let's attack with both. We'll see what they want to do. Alright, and we'll ninjutsu the road captain. We're gonna save the removal. Down to 13, and we'll just we'll just play the Reckoner raid. And we'll save the Drowning Icker for a better threat. They might also have a Tamiyo safekeeping. Thought that was a little suspicious that they played that with mana up. Okay, opponent playing elves. That's cool. So getting a treasure token. Here we're probably going to use removal on the visionary. If they don't tap out here, okay. So let's see what they go for this time. Gain two life. All right, so we drain them. This time we're gonna give them terrible blocks. So we're gonna kill this, proliferate poison counters and flip our Reckoner Raid. If they want to double block the Ambusher, I'm fine with that. Okay, now here we get to Ninjutsu again. Deal them six. And play the Vermin. Again, mill ourselves. Wouldn't mind drawing Karamonix. Or even the Skitterling would be pretty good right now. We could sack the Vermin. Well, we still gotta get them that third poison counter. So this deck operates without Karamonix, but it is obviously much, much better with it. Because we really need to get three poison counters to turn on some of our stuff. Alright, and our opponent... Drawing a card from Vine Shaper Prodigy, gaining two life back to nine. And passing back to us. So again, fine to trade these off. Tyvar stand, sure. So opponent down to three. And we'll play Blight Belly Rat. Game is definitely not over yet. Nice that we're at 39, though. I don't think it's likely that we die anytime soon in case they start to claw back into this. So Nissa. That's a card. That one's a little bit scary. So assuming they make a 7-7 seven seven here. They could destroy the road captain. I don't think that would be very good. Interesting. Didn't expect that. So, Karamonix is really nice off the top. We're gonna play this. Hopefully, we hit some stuff here. Nice, two creatures. So now, this is great, because if we attack all, they have to block everything or lose, because we get to bring in the Ambusher. So they know we have it, though. So they have to block every creature. So this puts them in kind of a tough spot. Oh, sorry. You had to block the vermin too. Unless you have an instant, you could tap the stalwart. Maybe gain two life? Maybe? No. Okay, good game. <laughs> if you made it this far, don't forget to drop a like and consider subscribing for future budget decks just like this one. We'll see you next time.